Hey everyone, in today's app video, I want to show you how to use OfferUp. And recently, OfferUp merged with another app called LetGo. And both of those apps basically are a marketplace for people to come and buy and to sell anything. And it's really simple to use, one of my favorite apps out there. And just like every other app video I make, I'll show you exactly how to use it. And at the end of the video, I'll give you my rating from one to five. Let's jump in the app store and look for the app OfferUp. Go ahead and download it and open it up here and go through the sign up process. It's pretty straightforward. Let me just go to my profile icon on the bottom to show you. It's basically going to ask you to verify your email and verify your phone number and even connect it with Facebook. And they have something called True You. And those are all just security things. So the more you have and the more of those you connect, the buyers are going to be more confident that this is a legit profile. So I recommend going through and filling out as many and verifying as many things as you see on the sign up process. And once you're done signing up, let's go to the home page. And you could also use this on the OfferUp website. So if you Google OfferUp, they do have a website where all this is available there. But I love that everything could be done right inside of the app. On the bottom here, you have your typical menu and we'll go through it one at a time. But on the home page, this is exactly how this works. You're going to get recommendations based on things you've seen before. So I tried to buy a car on here before, so it's going to show me recommendations based on that on the home page. And you could sort out what you see over here by low to high based on price or the closest based on location. And you could sort out on the right side based on price alone. But what's nice about this is you could just search on top. So let me search on top elliptical machine, for example. And I'm going to see all the elliptical machines listed near me here based on my location. Or if I need something to ship, I could also search based on that too. And I'll show you that in a second. But if you see on top right now, it's set to all, meaning anything I could get shipped to me or I could pick up. So if I go to pick up, it's only going to show me things based on location here that are near me that I could go ahead and pick up. If I go to shipping, it would be sh things that could be shipped to me. Again, you have to most of the time pay for shipping. That is not covered in any way by the app. So that's how you would search for something and see if it's available for pickup or for shipping. Now to change the radius of your location, you could select this option right on the top right. And it's going to let you change based on distance to where you're located. So you could change your location here and change the distance and press apply. And inside the home page, you could also search by category. So press the four square on top here and you could see all these categories. So if I wanted to buy a cell phone, I could select cell phone here and it'll just show me cell phones for sale. I could sort those by price, maybe maximum of a hundred dollars. I'll press done and only see those types of phones. When you jump into any one of these posts, you'll see more about it. For example, where it's located, when it was posted, you'll see the price and you'll see who posted it too right here and see the rating if they have a rating from one to five stars here. And then you could just make an offer. So I could press make an offer here, type in a number that I want and just press make an offer. It's that simple to make an offer on anything. Now the other person could refuse that offer or could accept that offer and then you would go through the shipping process or you could pick things up in person if you chose the pickup option. So you have those available to you. You could also ask a question. So you could press ask and you could either type out your message or ask from the available questions if you're not sure if you want to buy the item or not. Maybe you want to learn more about it there. Now under the shipping tab here, if I select something and if I make an offer, I could also see the shipping price right here. So I could see the item price, the shipping price, and then I could confirm that offer. In some cases, it's not going to be open to offers. It might be a set price. So check that when you press make an offer to see if it's going to just jump you to the checkout page or it's going to let you make an offer. They have those available when you try to sell an item. That's really all there is when it comes to buying an item. Again, on their pickup, for example, you could meet up with someone in person and do this with cash or on their shipping, you could pay for it using a credit card, Apple Pay, and a number of other ways. Now, to figure out how to pay for things, go to your profile right here. And right here where it says payment and deposit method, select that. And here you could add deposit accounts and you could also add payment ac accounts like credit or debit cards. And by default, I have my Apple Pay here. So make sure you set this up if you're going to create transactions here and buy or sell anything on OfferUp. 
Once you start sending messages to people, there is an icon for messages right here on the bottom of the app and you'll see all the messages and all your notifications here. So you could keep track of them here. Eventually they'll archive and you won't see them here. And that dollar sign options shows you everything you're selling. It will show you everything you've sold in the past and it will show you buying too. If you go to the buying board and see what you've bought in the past there too. So it's a nice way to organize selling and buying inside of that. Now let me show you how to sell an item. Press the camera icon right here and there's two simple ways to sell something. You could take a picture of it right now or you could select a photo if you took a picture with your phone previously. Really simple and then you would add a title. So let me choose an item here and take a picture of it. And let's say I want to sell these AirPods. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of it and I could open it up, take another picture. And when I'm done, I'm going to press done right here on the bottom. And there you go, I have multiple pictures and it says I could add up to nine more pictures if I want to. And then I'll go ahead and give it a name, Apple AirPods. I'll press done and I'll press next here. So by default, it chose a category for me and based on my title and it chose right audio equipment. So I just have to select that. Select the condition here. I'm going to go to used here in the center and I could describe my item and say why I'm selling it. For example, on the description box, which is optional, then I'll press next. On the third page, I would set my price. So for example, if I was to sell this for $50, I would set that. And this is where you could negotiate or be firm on the price. If you press firm, when people make an offer, they won't have an option to put in another number there. It will just take them to the checkout page. So decide what you wanna do there and then press next. And if you wanna ship nationwide, you could select it there and make sure that's set. And you could set a price for shipping based on the size, this is going to be eight ounces. I'll choose that. I definitely recommend setting this for shipping. It makes it a lot easier than just having to meet other people in person. That really limits who you're going to get making offers on your things here. And then press next on the next page. And I could share it to my Facebook timeline if I link this app to Facebook, which I have. So that would be what I would turn on over here. And when I'm done, I would press post. And let me see, on my profile now, if I click it, you could see the post, anybody could click it, anybody could look at my other pictures of what I just took and read my description and see where I'm located. Anytime when the item sells, I can mark it as sold so I don't get more messages about it. And if I change my mind, I could press the three dots here and archive this item. So I'll do that in this case because I actually don't wanna sell this right now and I'll go ahead and archive it so it won't show up for people to buy. And it's really that simple to buy and sell anything on OfferUp. So I recommend you give it a try. I'm gonna give it a solid five out of five. It's so easy to buy and sell. And from every time I've tried to sell anything on here, it's gotten dozens of views within hours and I usually sold the item within a day of posting it on this app. So it's one of my favorite apps for buying and selling anything online. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. I post these type of videos every single week on this channel and I hope to see you on the next video.